Right, boys, here we go. The moment of truth, what we've been waiting for. Game comes here. It's 10 in the UK right now, and the trailer has been released. We're going to watch this, we're going to react to it, and then we're going to try and pick it apart a little bit at the end of the video. I'm Yorkie, man. If you're new around here, smash subscribe for more Pez content. I need to start calling it eFootball. I keep forgetting every time. Smash the like button as well. Let's watch this video. All right, here we go. I, I genuinely don't know what to expect. Oh, the new logo in. I don't know what to expect here. I'm just hoping. Fingers crossed, boys. Fingers crossed. Vamos eFootball. Let's go, Messi. Revamp gameplay. It's what we want. Not that the gameplay was the worst, just sluggish. 1v1 jewels. Mind with passing, physicals. Okay. We would to be honest, we all want we want full gameplay here, don't we, Rayleigh? The tech stuff we'll read after. It looks like they've got Arsenal again. I must admit, we've got to instantly talk. That looked more fluid, right? That it, that instantly, it looked less clunky. I mean, we're talking about Iniesta. He, he's got the touch of a magician, but this just the footwork just looked a little bit less blocky, which is good to see. Which is good to see. Again, it's really early though, but I mean, the defenders like luster there. Those individual jewels will be nice. My issue with the individual jewels, right? I like it. The one-on-one -on -one jewels that you're going to have between players. The one thing that worries me is we've got it now, right? We've got it now. Players get stuck in the animation. You, the amount of times a player gets stuck in the animation and you can't do jack with it. You can't do anything with it. And, and that I'm just worried that the one-on-one -on -one jewels is just going to be more of that. You know, when you get tied into the animation, especially like when you're trying to sprint past someone, it ties you into them dragging you. Uh, I'm hoping that's not what the one on one Jules just is. This is quite important. This is quite important because for for everything that FIFA does badly that us Pez players don't like about it, it's close control dribble is good. It, it's good. And if you use it correctly, the stopping and turn of pace it is very easy to do on FIFA. It feels like you're fully in control of it. With Pez, it doesn't. With Pez, it doesn't. It feels a lot more clunky, uh, a lot more stiff and, and i'm i'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit more free more freedom when it comes to the the abilities and the dribbling it's never going to be a bad thing to have more ways to go past the defender i mean the defense didn't look good there can we can we the covering defender still didn't look too good that was nice though that I still don't, I, my issue here is I still don't feel like I'm, I mean, this looks more like gameplay, but again, like I said it with FIFA, I'd rather they showed us a match. I always feel like when they show you stuff like this, they're hiding something. They hide in something. And I feel like this might be the same, but I mean, this will be interesting because I, I'm someone who moved to playing Pez a lot more this year. And the first thing I struggled with the most uh, was defending because your defenders felt really clunky even when it was covering just to block the shot i'm hoping that's a little bit better this year a little bit more intuitive looks like the dribbling just in general has got a read that was really nice that to go past him that fake shot i found moving from i'm going to speak from a perspective quite a bit in this where i moved from fifa Playing that a little bit more regular, not a lot, more football manager, but a little bit more regularly, and and that's that's a nicer animation to go past someone with a fake shot. Oh, 
was nice. That was less clunky. You know, usually when you're trying to you're trying to win the ball back on Pez and you both just run in the same direction until one player gets ahead of the other. This happens a lot. So what will happen is both players are running together and then when you get in front, you can take the ball or you'll foul. This is... I, I love this defensively. I love the fact that he just puts his foot in to get ahead to steal the ball away. Uh, and then he's got the correct balance. So the other, the offensive player's off balance, which leads him to lose the ball. And then instead of still running in that direction, uh, he stops the ball to then run. I like that. That is nice. If we're going to see defending like this, that's a massive improvement. Using his strength there to hold him off. Cheeky ball roll. I love a cheeky ball roll. Not going to lie. Perform sharp kick available in future update. Okay. So this isn't going to be... Uh, this isn't going to be at launch. That's a pass, that, boys. Look at that from PK. Look at the way that ball moves. Look at the ball physics. The way it drip. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm not going to lie, boys. I like that. That looks sick. That's nice. That's nice. We take that. thrasher has got ahead of his man. You'd like to think he's quicker, but he's got quicker feet. Oh. Okay. Again, th this is nice. That's nice. The momentum as well. Hoping goalkeepers aren't all ridiculous either. You know, a bit of an issue with goalkeepers this year, if I'm being honest. I mean, you should have good ball movement, right? When you've got a uh, when you've got any Esther to capture, should be good ball movement. Was that Carlos Puyol then? With the haircut. There he is. They woke him up again, boys. They woke him up again. The, it, it, it instantly for me, instantly, I can tell from the opening moments, the movement is better. The movement is better. If that's how the movement is going to be in game, it's a lot better. Is it in his cutscenes before? that they're, they're cool. I'm... Enhanced match day stuff is always really good because I think that's something that FIFA really excels in and Pez doesn't. Uh, it's a weird thing, but being a masterly content creator, you have to rush your words when it hits half time because they're literally on the pitch and in the tunnel in the space of seconds. Where on FIFA, there's a little bit of a, a dramatic build up. I know it's just a half time screen, but I just wish there was a bit more of that, that animated build up and. and and whatnot when it comes to pairs. I want more of this. This stuff really sets the atmosphere of games. I love it. We're already seeing here with some of the teams that we've seen that they are probably going to be the teams. Oh, this is nice. This is when attacking. Oh, hang on. Hang on, baby. So this is stuff. This is play styles for when you're attacking. You've got possession game, long ball counter, quick counter, long ball and out wide. I'm sure we'll see more. Gagan Press will be on defending. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't got Tiki Taka, but I'm assuming that's what possession game is. Uh, but we already can tell here there are a few of the sides that are going to be in this game uh, when the, when it comes out. So the de the defense actually naturally shift, with, which leaves this overload. Look, leaves this overload over here. I think that'll probably be Marcus Rashford, but I like that. Because that's that would naturally happen in football. When you play really wide, you, you'll see this when you watch Chelsea play. They play for it at the back with the attacking wing backs. Is is wherever the ball is, the the movement will shift. So the defensive side will shift. And that leaves these gaps of holes. That's why teams play like that. And and I, that is great. I love that. That is. So this is this is quick counter. So, yeah, this is what we're expecting. When you win the ball back, dashing for... I ain't ever seen any of my players... This is why I use gameplay mods, boys. I ain't ever seen none of my players ever run like this before. I ain't, ne I ain't never seen it. Never. Never. Look at it. Oh, my God. They run into the box. Instead of them running wide. Remember when we're playing, your Amchuk just runs wide instead of like... Oh, this is nice. That movement. And then he's got two options. He picks up the ball here. He's got two options. He can do what he wants. 
I know this seems like really simple stuff to be getting excited about, but if you've been playing Pez, oh yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. So this is the long ball. So they're gonna. Then I like this. I like this because it's right. They're looking for the knockdown. They've pumped it long to a Bamiyag, and now there's players looking for the knockdown, and they're gonna run off. They're gonna run off that striker. The long ball should be something that you can use in a sports game. And what we find when we play these games is they all play the same way. Not no more. And then this is Tiki Taka, basically, possession. You're going to see them forming triangles. I love that. I love that. So they're, they're a lot more rigid with the long ball counter. I like that. So 4-4-2, basically, which is exactly what they're playing here at 4-4-2. And you're gonna see you're gonna see midfielders dropping in. I that was really good. So you see the midfielder drop in here. I, I like that. And then when they win the ball back, we're gonna see players sprint. Okay. That that we don't see all this run. We don't see all this run. But look how he's showing for the ball in here as well. The the movement just seems better, boys. And that's important for me because I feel like the movement this. This year or on Pez is is a bit frustrating. I don't know. I don't like this. We won't be using this camera. The camera panning in and out. I hate. Nice footwork from Pepe. I mean, this is like the 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 you know that's like the mobile version. There's one thing that has just hit me and dawned on me right now. And, and this does not look next gen. I'm enjoying the movement. I'm enjoying the little bits of play that we're seeing. But none of this looks pretty. None of this looks next gen. That we were expecting. This um, it looks like a dated build. I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more player details. The kits seem tighter though. That's nice. No more tight kit mod maybe. Okay, that was quite cool. Just the animation there. Oh, I like that. I like that. That animation. I mean, when we're looking at models, they don't look bad. The kits... There's one thing right now, right? There's no mods in this. The kits look a million times better than they ever have done, but... I, you know, it, it does. It doesn't look next gen. It doesn't. I'm sorry, but it, it does not look next gen. The turfs don't look next gen. The turf mods we use now look better than what we're seeing here. But the the animations and the match stuff looks a lot more fluid. And, and we've got tight kits. Should I be that excited about tight kits? I don't know. Some of the face models don't look bad. And that's all we're going to get, lads. That's all we're going to get for today with that. And um, it's... Uh, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. The, my big issue with that is there was some stuff there. We'll just leave it on the end screen, right? Does it give us any information on this end screen? No, it doesn't. I, I, mm, I was fingers crossed that it might give us a date. We still zero dates, boys. So uh, we're still without a clue when this comes out. We're at the end of August now. A lot of people, and myself including, are imagining September. Who knows? I mean, I liked what I saw with the player movement. I liked the defensive stuff, although we've not seen enough of it in a match. The player movement there was a million times better than what we've seen. All the gameplay stuff that I was just shown, apart from that really terrible mobile camera, which some people might like, but it's, it's not for me. Everything we saw there looked great. The character models did not look next gen. The pitches did not look next gen. None of it looked next gen. Or, or, you know, none of it is going to stand up probably to next gen FIFA, whatever that means. But at the end of the day, I think with eFootball fans, PES fans, the gameplay is a huge priority. That's what PES has always prided itself on, as far as I'm concerned. And, and the rest will come. The mods will come. That output will come. But the gameplay, I think we all want it to improve because it's very clunky. It's very rigid. You're stuck in sand. It's You get caught in animations and stuff. So I, I think we all want that to improve. I, I liked what I saw, but again, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't really true gameplay. We didn't get to see a match. And, and FIFA do that. Konami have done the same. 
The jury is still out on whether this game is going to be good or not. And the jury is definitely still out on what's going to happen with the game modes that we love. Master League mainly. We still have no clue about that. We still don't have a release date. I am none the wiser, apart from the animations are more fluid. And uh, the dribbling is more fluid and the movement is, uh, is better and more fluid. That's pretty much the takeaway from that. And I don't know if I'm happy with that takeaway. Let me know down below what you think, what your opinion is after watching that trailer. How are you feeling about the game coming up? Uh, the gameplay certainly looks improved, uh, which is great. But it, it doesn't feel like a next-gen title. I've been Yorkie Man. I appreciate the support as per usual, boys. If you want to chat to me, hit me up on Twitter. There's the Discord down below. There's the Twitch channel. There's everything down below. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. I appreciate you. I'm going to go out of here now and think about this even more. But... I, I'm not upset about what I've seen. I'm not blown away. I haven't got any more excited about getting my hands on the game. 